I've been shooting photographs in London for over 15 years. During this time, I've become so numb to these locations, the beautiful architecture, and all of London's landmarks. After spending a few days in New York last year, I wanted to come back to London with the same amount of excitement I had while capturing photographs in a city I'd never been to before. To try and see my home city through the eyes of somebody coming here for the very first time. I know that this isn't going to be an easy thing to do. And with that being said, I set up my camera and start to work on these first photographs. During filming for this YouTube video, I've completely lost the light on Tower Bridge, which isn't ideal. So I move on to getting a landscape and a portrait version of this long exposure. Using an ND filter and a tripod, I'm able to capture two 30 second long exposures. Shooting this way can really separate you from somebody who would just turn up at this location and quickly shoot a shot. There's something about smoothing out a choppy river Thames that leads your eye straight to the city rather than having any distractions in the foreground. I'm happy with these shots, but I know these aren't quite that shot that I'm looking for. And I want to capture one image from today here in this part of the city that I'm really happy with. The benefit of having years of experience capturing photographs in this city is I always have an idea of what I can shoot. I know that sunset at Tower Bridge on a partial cloudy day is always worth shooting. I've shot quite a few sunsets at this spot, standing on Tower Bridge looking back towards the Shard and the city buildings on the other side of the Thames. If you can get a clear sunset here, the light for your images will look amazing. With around half an hour to go, I work on framing that sunset shot. I love this composition but find the blue fencing to the right far too distracting. I notice the lights start to change so I turn my attention back to the opposite side of the river. I capture a long exposure as a test shot and also take a regular photograph of the same image, which I liked a lot more than I thought I would. The orange glow across the River Thames is starting to look beautiful, so I capture a few more shots facing this way, trying several different ideas, including this shot, which really shows the difference in architecture in this part of London. So I've made the decision that I want the shard to be the subject for this shot. I take a quick composition, more zoomed in as a test, but the side on the wide angle, and I'm so, so happy with how this image looks. A 30 second long exposure shot at 17 millimeters. I've walked away from this city feeling happy with my photography for the first time in a very long time.